have seen that plane land. And, and it's really now that the work begins for, for the task team indeed and for the survivors of this tragedy. You're absolutely correct, Joanne. It's quite a, it's a massive uh, machine, that plane there. There's a mass casualty aeromedical evacuation team that's on board. Uh, you know, it's highly, it's got highly specialized equipment, and it is from the South African Military Health Service. And on board there, uh, we have a medical team uh, that is comprised of various experts, Joanne. We have, uh, you know, trauma surgeons. We have orthopedic surgeons. We have uh, four aeromedical officers and they specifically specialized in aviation medicine six nursing officers specialized also in aviation nursing and eight military paramedics and you know they've really taken extra measures to ensure that those who've been traveling on board this flight for about 10 hours joanne have been receiving the best care possible like you said this is just the first step um, it's one of many planes that we will see uh, carrying people from lagos but this one joanne carrying with it survivors who will have their own harrowing details to tell about that moment when the church building collapsed. One wonders how many of them would have thought it would end this way, Kathy, uh, leaving, of course, for a religious trip, perhaps uh, seeking some kind of healing uh, in, in the context of that, uh, that synagogue of all nations church. Uh, very few would have even anticipated that uh, it might end in tragedy. You know, I... As you can see there, Joanne, the plane just positioning itself well um, around the ambulances where the patients will be taken. We saw that convoy of ambulances entering the Air Force Base earlier this morning. Uh, we are going to see them closing in on that plane uh, in just moments. Uh, to begin transporting and conveying the injured survivors off that plane straight into those ambulances where they will head for the Steve Biko Academic Hospital. Well, Joanne, the engine is off and there you have it. The plane has officially arrived um, in Pretoria, Swarkop Air Force Base. That's where we're bringing you these live uh, pictures from. And of course, is the arrival of 26 injured South Africans uh, who are survivors of that tragedy which took place in Lagos.